After seeing the Liberty Falls gameplay at COD Next, I can say without a doubt in my mind that Black Ops 6 Zombies is cooked. And there's no way I'm gonna be playing that garbage. I'm gonna play some real zombies. I just don't understand how you can have four whole years of development time and all you can put out is some Warzone regurgitated slop. It's almost like they didn't even try to make a zombies game like we're used to, like, like back in the golden days. Like it's not bad enough that we're having manglers again for whatever year in a row. And we're getting a map that's outside in a city during the daytime. And don't even get me started on the UI and all the pop-ups that show up, all that ADHD TikTok slop. And them just adding in the option to be able to customize it and turn on and off whatever features you want is just a big slap in the face. Why even put it in the game if you can turn it off? And it's really got to be some form of false advertising to get us all hyped up for the game and show us the trailer for Liberty Falls. And it have nothing from the trailer in the actual gameplay that we saw. I didn't see Rick Toffin in there, did you guys? Or most importantly, why would they go through the whole trailer and show us a staircase if we're not gonna be going on Kino again? These devs absolutely know what the community wants and it's like they're, they're avoiding it for nothing just to piss us off. And they can't even get basic mechanics right in the trailer. When Rick Toffin grabs the Wonder Waff, he shoots it four times before reloading. Four. And anyone with a brain can see that there's only three light bulbs on the side, meaning you can only shoot it three times. But I doubt they even played the Zombies games before. We have a whole new generation of developers that don't even know what the game is or what its roots are. It's honestly just sad to see a game mode that I've fallen in love with just have this big of a, a fall from grace. It's like they really don't even care about zombies players. They'd rather just throw out a quick little mode into the game just to get people hyped for it. And then they actually show what it's like. And it's absolutely garbage. And before I get too off topic from the trailer, they, there's just so many inconsistencies in it. And I really think the problem is, is that COD's gone woke. Like for instance, when did Rick Toffin have a wife and kid? He's supposed to be gay. Like, where's the Rick Toffin that I knew that was over there slopping off Nikolai and Dempsey? But we have him just being a, a, a traditional father with a daughter and a wife. Why would he care about those? The Rick Toffin that I knew would not care about his family at all. The entire Dark Aether storyline just does not make any sense. They, they've completely abandoned everything that made zombies zombies. And the thing that makes me the most mad about the Dark Aether timeline is Maxis and what they've done with her. The Maxis that I know back in the older Black Ops games was an actual toddler. Now that she's a grown woman, how am I supposed to- Sorry, I, I got I got a little bit grumpy. My mom said I had to go take a nap, and I'm I'm fine now. I'm all right. I just I don't understand why they just can't take any criticism. Like at the very least, why don't they make the map at nighttime? I don't get it. It, it would change the aesthetic drastically. And I know the, all those people that are riding Activision's D are gonna tell me that, oh, they can't because Terminus takes place at the same exact time. When have we ever had two zombies maps take place at the same time? They might as well just go ahead and throw a map on the moon. Or if they want to be even more lazy and go ahead and reuse assets, throw one on Nuketown too. It's just crazy the amount of disrespect these devs have for this community. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I just think the biggest problem with modern media nowadays is that they just change what already works. Why change anything at all if something's already working great? Like, for example, Pokemon. Pokemon, red and blue, great games. Maybe some of the best games of all time. We had 151 Pokemon, we don't need any more. We don't need to go to any different regions. We don't need anything else. Or even music, for example. Like, don't even get me started on that mumble crap. What happened to actual music? Like, we used to have artists like Beethoven or, or Mozart. But now Mozart's not even doing music. He's making crayons. It's like the same thing with zombies. They go and introduce all these new things that make it into a baby mode. Like, they add in Pack-A-Punch. They add in perks. They might as well just add a setting so you can just change your round up to round 100 so you don't have to do any high rounds anymore you can just say that you did and they just keep adding in unrealistic mechanics like self revives it's just so easy to play the game with a self revive you don't need to do anything you go down that's fine you can pick yourself right back up it doesn't matter like we've just gotten so out of touch with reality with these games and speaking of high rounds what's the point of even doing them anymore how am i supposed to flex on my employed friends when they can now save and quit out of games they have no respect for the 20 straight hours i put into playing this game and getting up to round 100. now all they gotta do is play for like 20 minutes a day and they'll get up to that same round with way less effort and way less time wasted it's just so dumb they even had to go make these easter eggs all handhold and also super complicated at the same time. 
Before, zombies used to just say Sam, and you're like, oh, you know, that's Samantha. That could be somebody in the lore. And now they, they want to try to copy FNAF and make it some really deep and intricate lore based on some random things going on on the map. Like there's actually some big overarching story or something. Like they just know the zombies community is so stupid. They're gonna be like, oh, shiny light. Let me look at it through a scope. <laughs> It just really bothers me how much they baby newer players with things like armor. Like, why do you need something to help protect you from taking hits from zombies? Just simply don't get hit. And what really makes me mad is just how far we've come from the original theme. It used to be us just fighting zombies in some concrete building or some insane asylum or a movie theater. But now we take a plane to pack a punch. Ooh, like there is absolutely no world where this thing would actually fly. We made this with laundry and, and all the other stuff we could find just laying around the prison. And see, it don't even work. If they really wanted to baby players, why don't they just make like a, a weapon that homes in and just kills zombies for you? Might as well do it. They're making everything else super easy. And outside of planes, what's next? dragons giant robots and it's like with each new game we're just getting closer and closer to this game becoming fortnite they just throw in some celebrity cast on this map that nobody cares about to try to incentivize people to play on it like oh sure yeah i'll play on mob of the dead they got the guy from from the sopranos that does butt stuff but i guess to be fair they haven't really known what the zombies community wanted like ever like nobody asked for this bioshock clone looking map and who was the genius that came up with the idea that you have to become a big tentacle monster to do even do anything on this map so annoying oh and way to bite from half-life was that the g-man oh with some original ideas i just wish they took zombies a bit more seriously because we completely lost the plot here and look how original this is bugs are you kidding me what was wrong with hellhounds they just gotta go change them what don't need fixed all the time oh and what is this was this supposed to be an abomination can't they come up with any unique enemy types it's the same concept too. Oh, shoot it in the mouth. Whatever, man. Honestly, why don't they just let the fans make the games? They'd be absolutely perfect. We'd have everything that the community has been asking for in them. And we'd never need another Zombies game again unless they completely remake the one game that we like. And just to show that I'm right, here's a little example that the community has made of what the perfect Zombies experience is. What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Come, come. Hey, back it up there, wandering hands. 